Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Spirit, Spirit, Come on, Elder. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank I have a, the Holy Spirit said, let's pray. So we're going to, bye, baby. Gosh, that's so precious. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So, uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now in every breath of you, Holy Spirit. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, we all know that you are coming soon. Amen. And you are so merciful, so gracious, so loving, Lord, that you chose not to know the time when you're coming back because you want to be surprised. <laughs> and isn't that beautiful of our God that you chose? We can't even fathom that. We don't understand, but we fear you and how much you love us. And we thank you that in this fear, Lord, right now, here, are, here is your beloved family. Here is your beloved children, Father who you paid for on that cross, Lord. And I just thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the teacher, that we don't turn to man to teach us, we turn to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And only you, Father, can teach us through you, Holy Spirit. So Father God, I thank you. I thank you, Father God, in what you're doing through all of your people. Father, you know in the deepest and the holy of holies, I pray that you show yourself through us, through our relationships, our marriages, our children, our homes, through your ministry, God's hand ministries, and through all your churches, Father God, that there will be such a fresh fire that only can come through you, Holy Spirit. So, Father God, I just thank you for this true fire. Beloved family, Holy Spirit said he wants to hear you say, <laughs> he wants to hear you say how we say far. far. <laughs> you can't make this up. I know, we're still praying, y'all. Don't get crunchy, amen. We're still praying. So, Father God, we thank you for this worship service and every opportunity you give us. Because, Father, your angels surround us. You push evil far, far, far away from us. And, Father God, we're just so, so in awe of you because we choose to be. So, Father God, as we, as, as we go through this worship service that you titled Ham Days, I'm so grateful for that. And, Father, I confess to Brother Soldier. Uh, your beloved David, I confess to him that uh, I completely forgot as far as what he was going to read. And only you can orchestrate green eggs and ham. Uh, and, and yes, family, we're still praying. So just chill out. Amen. We're still praying. But Father God, once again, we choose to be foolish in you. Amen. We choose, Father God, to be your beloved children that just want to make you happy. That just want you to have the joy because the Father, your word says, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And I thank you, Father God, that I stand among lions, among beloved children of God, 
Oh, hallelujah, that are strong because they make you happy. And we, we love you, Father, with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, Father God. And it's in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. So glory be to God. We, um, uh, we have a lot going on, as you guys can tell. Amen. And not only in the community right now that there's so much going on, you know, with ham days. Praise God. That's our worship service. Now, some of y'all looking at me sideways, just calm down, okay? Calm down, all right? Because some of y'all are like, what kind of church is this? What is, he done lost it. I knew it. I knew he was going to lose it. Calm down, amen? I done lost it a long time ago. Praise God. And praise God, I pray I never find it because I am recovered. Can I get an amen? By the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. Listen, when I thought I knew something, I ain't know nothing. Nathan. Can I get an amen? Only he knows everything, hallelujah. So uh, I'm going to read from Daniel chapter 3, and I'm going to start in verse 16. And um, Lord willing, if we're still here, man, does that not does that not strike something in you? I mean, that's the way I talk now. That's what I believe. Somebody's like, can, can we have an appointment? I want to meet with you on Thursday if we're still here. Who are you going? I, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know. I ain't coming back until Lord Jesus Christ right <laughs> on that white horse. Amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Praise God. I don't like riding horses. So I'm asking the Lord, can I ride behind you? Can I just hold on? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I don't mind, man. I rode a horse. That's for another time. Praise God. Holy Spirit just said that's for another time. Amen. Um, but so this is what I want to say. We're going to go through our worship service and Holy Spirit is going to blow our minds away as he always does, because I'm still trying to keep up, as you guys know. And I'm fixing to read this. What I'm asking of you is go like this with me. This is where we can block the presence of Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, there's some of y'all that came in just, just busy. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Busy. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. See, the enemy got no power. He has no authority. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. But what he tries to do is have you work against yourself. It's called pride. And when we get all up in here, then we wonder why. Oh, I don't really get this message. I don't really understand what everybody's so happy about. I've been there, right? And why? Because you're so occupied in here. Say with me, no more. no more. Right now, I pray that you bless the presence of Holy Spirit and let Holy Spirit minister and show you some things. And we're going to have fun while we do it. Amen? Are you all ready to have fun? Yeah. Praise God. All right. So bear with me because I'm going to read this. Hallelujah. Verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Man, praise God we don't have names like that now. Huh? We still reeling off Jehoshaphat. And that was like ministered two months ago, right? It was like Jehoshaphat. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Amen. So where are those brothers at? Boom. You know what we're talking about now, right? Let's get into this. This is what they said to the, to, to the evil king. We have no need to answer to you in this manner, Nebuchadnezzar. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hands. Say this with me, faith. faith. Do you not agree that it takes faith from a beloved son of God, a beloved daughter of God to make a statement in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that this is what my God will do. Can I get an amen? All right, praise God. Because we have to understand that they ain't in the, it's just on the screen, right? But, but they're being forced to worship when they hear the music. And this evil king said, you're going to worship, you're going to worship this idol, right? This golden statue. You're going to, you're going, when you hear the music playing, you're going to fall on your knees. And, and they're like, uh-uh. Can we all do that together? Uh-uh. Say it gooder, not me. Amen. Amen. Oh, say it gooder and gooder. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. Amen. See, when we worship Lord Jesus, we know. Amen. So check this out. This is what they had to say to him following that statement because they said God will deliver us. And this is what they say. And I believe this is where we need to be this morning. 
But if not, this is what they're telling Satan. This is what they're telling every devil. This is what they're telling garbage. Even if he doesn't do it, we do not serve your God, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Can I get an amen? We only worship Holy Spirit because my God said so, and this is who Lord Jesus Christ paid. Can I get an amen? I did not realize this table was that hard when I hit it. Brother got used to hitting the plastic table where there was a little bit more give. That kind of hurt. Praise God. Don't get crunchy. Then Nebuchadnezzar, once again, praise God we don't have names like that anymore, right? Then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fury, and the expression on his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Y'all ever experienced that? Maybe there's some of you that actually gave that face. I know I did a lot of times, right? <laughs> right, Brother Adam, you look at me funny, it's like, what is that, right? <laughs> our, our tech team back there, Brother Adam's like, yeah, I know what you're talking about, right? You, you know when you see somebody's face and you just know, right? You just know the spirit behind it. And you can see that Nebuchadnezzar, he was full of Satan. He was full of hate. He was full of anger going, how dare you, right? And so his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Bengo. He spoke and commanded that they heat the furnace up seven times more than it was usually heated. Dumb. <laughs> Right? Dumb. Dumb, da dumb, dumb. And he commanded certain mighty men about, say with me, mighty men. So let me ask you something. The devil, I'm just going to call it the way it is. That's the fruit. Amen? He's evil. The devil called upon his strongest. When the word of God says mighty men, that's his strongest, right? Can you get an amen? So check this out. So, the, so, so, so Nebuchadnezzar calls upon his mighty soldiers. And he tells his mighty soldiers, and this is what he says, Bind them up, Shadrach, Meshach, and Benoam, cast them into the bur burning, fiery furnace. Then these men were bound up in their coats and their trousers, their turbans and their garments, and were cast in the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Verse 22, therefore, therefore it's therefore reason, beloved family, check this out. Because the king's command was so urgent, and the furnace exceedingly, say that word with me, exceedingly exceedingly hot the flame of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach Meshach and Abednego the fire straight up killed all these mighty men I don't think y'all are hearing what I'm saying Amen. the presence of God kills anything that does not belong do you have something that doesn't belong come on family do you have something that does not belong I'm going to tell you right now, let's kill it in the name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. Say with me, there's a fire. That fire is inside you. Hallelujah. I don't want to jump ahead. You're getting me too excited now. Calm down. Calm down. Stay seated. Verse 23. Verse 23. This is gooder and gooder, guys. These three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. So you can just imagine they were wrapped up tight. I mean, I think about it. They wanted to murder, straight up murder, straight up disintegrate these guys. So do you think that this was just a little knot? No, they went in there like mummies. How, may I ask you, beloved family, may I ask you, worshipers in spirit and truth, how did the enemy try to bind you up in the past, right? And I need you, I need you right now to press into worship because of the name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, calling upon God's name and submitting and surrendering. Did he not burn off every chain that the enemy tried to deceive you with? Come to the hallelujah. Can I get a praise, God? Because here you are, standing there, in all of his freedom, in all of his glory, in all of his might, a beloved, royal child, eternally in the kingdom of heaven. Can I get a hallelujah? Yeah. Amen. This is our truth, praise God. And here soon we will be in the eternal kingdom going, oh my gosh. You, you showed me, you taught me, but I had no idea. And our Lord Jesus, Brother Moses, will take you, Brother Lance, take you by the hand and go, look at what I've been building for you. Brother Armor Bear, come on, my beloved. Amen. 
Look, here, I'm going to take you. I want to show you. And the, and the Lord is going to take you by the hand. And you're going to be like, oh, my gosh. And he's like, you ain't seen nothing yet. Praise God. And I can already hear myself asking God, why are all the animals here? Amen. And then he's going to tell me, my beloved daughter spoke that out. Yes. Praise God. Listen, I'm not here to change. I'm not here to change the way you believe or what you believe or how you act or think. I'm here to worship our Lord Jesus. I'm here to bless Holy Spirit's presence. And guess what? Holy Spirit will be the one to tell you what to believe. Amen. But it, but, but if you, but, 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 but <laughs> brother, Adam, pray for me, man. Oh my goodness. Hand days, porky pig. But it, but it, but it, but it, but it. I can't make this up. My baby girl right here is like copying me now. That, 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 that. It's really awesome when a little beloved angel starts making fun of you out here. She's like, yeah, speak straight. Come on. Come on, preacher. You want me to grab that mic? She could probably preach a better. She can preach a better message than I can. Because this, that blesses God more than what's happening here, right there. Can I get an amen? amen. Praise God. And hear my heart. Don't hold back your babies. This is, this is God's house. Amen. There ain't no religion in here. Amen. If you're looking for religion, the Chinese buffet next door. Okay? Are we good? Yeah. Then, King, then, King, then Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose in haste and spoke, saying, Listen to this, y'all. Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? And they said, they said, true. True that. They're like, yeah. You know? Yeah. One, two, three. And check this out, verse 25. Look! Say with me, look! He answered, I see four men loose. Say with me, free! Say with me, I am free! And he said, walking in the midst of the fire, and they went, they're not hurt, and the form of the fourth, say with me, may the fourth be with you, is like the Son of God. Amen? Say with me, say with me, Jehovah. Jehovah. Say it like you mean it, Jehovah. Jehovah. For those of you who don't know, why, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh. Amen. Yahweh. Yahweh. Amen. Yahweh. Y'all know Yahweh, right? Yes. Yeah, because of Lord Jesus Christ, here in my heart in the old times, they wouldn't even say the, the name Yahweh in fear that they would be struck dead because it's so holy. Now, some of you are wondering, how in the world are you standing here saying Yahweh and not being struck dead? May I answer that? I'm glad you asked. Because Jesus Christ is my Lord. And God lives inside of me. Amen. Through his Holy Spirit. Can I get a hallelujah? Hey, this ain't old covenant now. We new covenant now. Amen. Praise God. So Yahweh, Yahweh, that's his name. The great I am. I am who I am. Can I get an amen? But hear my heart. So Yahweh, so in prayer, they would say Jehovah. Because they were allowed to say Jehovah, which meant Lord. Amen. And so I'm going to read a little bit more because it just gets gooder and gooder. Amen. Say it again, Jehovah. Jehovah. Don't you love Yahweh? Because Yahweh, you know how you say Yahweh? Last time I checked, when Lord Jesus Christ formed us in the garden, what did he do? Yahweh into us. And the breath of God. Hallelujah. Mm. Perfect timing, the breath of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, can we praise God for beloved elders who love to worship Holy Spirit? Can, can we praise God for that? Can we praise God for our beloved directors that, man, they take everything serious in the gospel. Can I get an amen? And can we praise God for all the deacons and leaderships and ministers that do God's work? Hallelujah. On a daily basis. Let's all say it together. May the fourth be with you. Praise God. Brother Aaron, I wish I had my lightsaber up here right now at that moment. You know it's, you know it's fixing to happen. Okay. 
It's fixing to happen. Amen. You know what? We're going to praise God. Holy Spirit said, close it. Okay, Lord, I hear you. And I thank you, Father God, for that word. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. All right. So we said Jehovah. Amen. And then this is what Holy Spirit wanted us to show. And we're going to go through this quickly. I want to ask you guys, because normally, you know, when we're done in worship service and we have a song that we sing and praise God for that, because, you know, there's a lot of things. This is where we do work. Amen. Amen. Up here. And I believe I'm just going to prophesy that there's going to be things that, that are going to be brought up here and they're going to die up here. Amen. And in that next breath, Holy Spirit's going to bless you with a fresh anointing and, and he's going to manifest the promises that you have been believing for. Amen. I believe that. Do you believe that? Amen. If you don't believe it, just stay seated. Okay. But if you believe it, come on, praise God. But that's what's going to happen. But this is what I'm going to ask from you. Can you please stay for the whole service? Because we have some big announcements that are going to take place. Amen. Are you excited? We got some big announcements. What? That's right. Like fishing. Dude, it got away and it was like this big. All the way, all the way back. <laughs> Woo, praise God. All right, so check this out. Jehovah means the eternal one, the unchangeable one, the one who was and is and is to come. Amen. Holy Spirit wants us to hear it. Holy Spirit wants to hear it in the spirit of faith. Say this together. Eternal one, unchangeable one, one who was and is and is to come. Jehovah. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so check this out. So when we talk about Jehovah, Jehovah has been gracious. Jehovah has helped. And who is like God? Can I get an amen? amen? Praise God. Now remember, Holy Spirit is our teacher. Can I get an amen? amen? And right now I pray and I'm confessing to you. Listen, don't, don't let me fool you. Rebuke that. I'm, I'm just a man. I'm a worshiper. Amen. Yes. Yes. Hear my heart. I said yes to the call. And yes, I pray that you see Holy Spirit's fruit through me. But hear my heart. Say his name. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. He is God and he is the one that does everything. Amen. Amen. Everything. Amen. I don't want to touch his glory. I, like you, just want to serve and be obedient and, and, oh, and reap a mighty harvest in Jesus' name. Amen. So let me do work. Don't you agree, family? It's time to do what? So part of what's happening in worship this morning is God is going to bless us, brother Mo, with a fresh anointing. Hallelujah. And hear my heart, in this fresh anointing, he's going to give you such revelation. It's going to be used in how you not only think, but how you carry yourself, how you speak, and how you show agape. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see Jesus on that cross? Amen. So you know how serious this is, amen? Amen? This is serious. Do you know that when we see Jesus eyeball to eyeball, that we will take account on everything? So hear my heart when I say this, because I'm speaking to you the truth. Yes, we're covered by the blood of our Lord. Yes, we are forgiven. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we are saved. But say it with me, accountability. accountability. So don't you agree? Now's the time to just start getting things right. Amen? Amen? So when we talk about Jehovah has been gracious, there's no one more gracious than our Father God. Amen? Amen? Why do we call our Father God gracious and merciful and loving? He is God. Amen. The Word of God says that He is love. But you notice that this love of God, mighty man of God, you notice you're just standing here going, I didn't even know I was standing how many of you really felt that right now? I don't even know I'm still standing. That's Holy Spirit because Holy Spirit said to say it right now. I mean, you didn't realize it. You're just like. And by the grace of God, that's his presence in you right now. Just roaring. Roaring right now. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Father is gracious. There is no one more gracious. But hear my heart. When I say Father God is love. It is the love of the Trinity. It is the love of agape. It is the perfect love. Amen. And so once again, who is the perfect love of agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And this, say it with me, is grace. Amen. And in this grace, you see Lord Jesus Christ right there. Amen. Now say it with me, Jehovah has helped. Jehovah has helped. How has God helped you? Oh. 
Does that not say everything right there? In that glorious picture, does that not say everything right there, Brother Merle? That when we were addicts, when we were murderers, when we were enforcers, come on. When we knew that we had a one-way ticket, because that's what we've been told, and that's what we that's what we believed, Adam. Come on, man. When they locked us up and you're like, man, I don't know when I'm gonna get out. But God. Can we say it together? But God. Because there's some of us right now that we're like, I was just done. We're blessed with the beloved elder. He, he cried out to God and said, just end it. I don't want to do this anymore to you. And glory be to God, Holy Spirit said, no, my child, I needed you to get to this point. Amen. I needed you to get to this point. Where he, he, I'm all you got. Amen. You see, and glory be to God, there's many of us sitting here this morning that we all came to that point. You're all I have. But here in my heart, do you not agree with me? Also, know that that enemy, he'll still keep trying to come at you. And if you don't get right with the Lord, it's easy for you to fall back into the world and leave Jesus behind. Say, no more. Look. Look at what he has done. And when there's people that tell me, oh yeah, well I know he died for my sins, but no, you better, but be quiet. There ain't no but about it, hallelujah. Because when you have God Almighty with all authority, all, pipe, all, 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 all might and all glory in all of his perfection, brother Adam, that he even said, I can call on the angels right now. And they will wipe this place out. But he chose to. Because beloved Stacy, he saw us. And he knew that we would be right here. Right before that trumpet sounds. Right, beloved? Right before that trumpet sounds. That we would be all together. Glorifying his name. And showing the love through Holy Spirit. Amen. Showing this world love. Amen. So here's my question to you, beloved. And here in my heart, this is Holy Spirit's church, amen? We are Holy Spirit's church, amen? Holy Spirit puts on your heart to pray for somebody. Come up here. You, you do exactly what our beloved brothers are doing. Here in my heart, if anything interrupts what, what I think I'm doing, I'm not right. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you right now, this is God's house, and this he does what he wants to do here. Can I get an Amen. So whatever Holy Spirit lays on your heart, feel free. Say with me, I am free. You go on and do it. Can I get an amen? Now remember, the only thing I ask is that if you feel like waving flags, there's a big parking lot right there. Okay? I don't need your pole to hit me. You know what I'm saying? Just, just go wave the flags out there. We got a flag right there outside on the sidewalk. Amen? Praise God. Say with me, paid in full. So Jehovah has helped, and we saw how God has helped. Pastor explained, there is nothing that come against, can come against you in Jesus' name. Amen. Nothing. Say with me, nothing. nothing. Because of what Lord Jesus Christ did on that cross, it's absolutely perfect. Lord Jesus Christ nailed and took upon his body, upon his stripes, every sin imaginable. Say with me, every. So in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, you are delivered from it. Amen? Amen. Say with me, I am you. I am you. you believe that this morning? Yes. And one more question. Who is like God? Amen? Well, let's just say his name, Holy Spirit. How many of you know Holy Spirit living inside me? And I, and I appreciate the ones that have not raised their hands. Because the ones that have not raised their hands, let's do something about that this morning. Can I get an amen? amen? Number one, I don't want you, I don't want you to go to hell. Amen. Some of you may say, well, that's pretty drastic, pastor, preacher, handsome, whatever you call me. Okay? <laughs> that's pretty drastic. Why would you say that? You see, Lord Jesus Christ, when he said, it is finished, paid in full. Many people 
especially the devil, wants to wants to deceive people in thinking that paid in full. Oh, that means I'm paid in full. No, what he paid in full was the requirements of the old. And he brought in a new covenant, a new promise. He brought in, he paid for Holy Spirit to now live inside of you. Amen. Can I get an amen? Praise God. Say we paid in full. Are you paid in full this morning? Because if not, if not, I beg you, will you come up to this altar and give it all to God? Amen. Amen. See, a lot of people hear my heart when I say this, because this is something that you could even feel in the atmosphere right now. It's, it's uncomfortable. But I want to expose not only cults, but religions. And I want to expose false teaching. Amen. When Lord Jesus Christ said, tell, tell us, like, let's remember, this is how he helped us. This is how Jehovah helped us. Is he went and he finished the work. But we have to understand that when a contract is paid for, we are now under the new covenant. Amen? Can I get an amen? Amen. So let me ask you something. Are you in a contract with God or are you in a covenant? Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. So who is like God? Well, you know Holy Spirit right now, say it with me, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit right now, he wants, there's many of you right now. There's so many that, you, that are crying. There's so many that, that are repenting. Holy Spirit right, right now wants to manifest himself in you. But he is not a God that will push himself on you. He needs your willingness. He needs you to step out in faith. He needs you to come. Maybe, may, may, maybe it's you that you need to just go up to somebody and say, can you pray for me? I'll tell you right now, we love to pray. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 We're a praying body. Amen. Praise God. So when you look at these three, Jehovah has been gracious. Jehovah has helped. And who is like God? Amen. amen. You can see the Father. Say with me, Father. Father. You can see the Son. Father. You can see Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Who is our God? Father. Can you break that up? No. Amen. Now, remember, we are in a ham days message. Amen. And I know there's some of you right now going, I don't see ham days in this. Because you promised, brother. And, and here in my heart, it's all Holy Spirit. And I know, I know what he said. So I know it to be true. Amen. Say it with me, Jehovah. I don't know if you guys know this about the Hebrew language. But when we talk about Jehovah, when we talk about agape, amen. Say it with me, agape. Agape. You guys know when you say agape, you're talking about the love of the Father manifested in the Son. What's the Son's name? Jesus. Jesus Christ, what did he do for you? He died for me. Why did he die for you? Amen. We just covered it, right? For his Holy Spirit. Armor said it right there. For his Holy Spirit to seal you so that you know him and he knows you. That when he sees you in heaven, he says, well done. Well done. Well done, my faithful servant. I know you. Well done. The ones that don't know him, right? The, the, let me say it gooder. The ones that thought they knew him. Is that the better way, gooder way to say it? The ones that thought they knew him but didn't want anything to do with the Holy Spirit. That's when Lord Jesus Christ says, I never knew you. No relationship. Don't you love how Holy Spirit just preaching this message to all of us? Amen. Because I see some of your mouths moving. Y'all, we're all saying the same thing, right? Amen. Now let's get real with God. Amen. Because Father loves it when we're transparent and real. Brother David, is it easy having a relationship with God? Look, we're being real, right? It's hard because sometimes Daddy spanks. Oh. Huh? Right? Uh. Seriously, if you don't know what that's like, watch me at Walmart. Amen. Watch me with Pastor Trish at Walmart. Hey, man. Amen. She likes to grab me under the arm, walk me through. It's embarrassing. It really is. But you know when she grabs me like that, she's like, what did I tell you in the car? I think about how Father chastens me when I don't listen. Amen. But this is what I love about beloved children of God. We know that when we get spanked, number one, we deserved it. Amen. If we're being honest, who thinks they didn't deserve it? Somebody some of y'all like, I can't believe you just asked that question. I'm still talking to the Lord about that, right? 
Listen, he is God Almighty, and guess what? Don't you think he wants good or for you? And it's just time to let go, amen? Say when you let go. So when we're, when we're quick, when we know that Father God spanks us, is he a bad God? No. He, this is why we say good. He's the only one good. Good and perfect, amen? And what Father wants to do in this chastening is to let you know, hey, come on. It's time to wake up. Right? It's, it, it, it's time to get... Say when you focus, right? Sometimes it's time, it's, it's time, right, beloved Renee? It's time to align ourselves, right? Amen? Amen. Right? Y'all ever drive and y'all y'all ever drive and your eyes start rolling back? How come I never feel like that at home, right? It's always driving, right? But what happens when your eyes start rolling? You just start, right? And you got to do something to like wake up. You know what I mean? Turn the music up or just start screaming, right? Praise, you know. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! And you know, people look at you and go, what the heck is going on with this guy, right? Praise God! Come on! Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! I want you, I want you to go to it. Praise God! You smile at me. I thought you, I thought you was going to wear me out, Sister Jesse. <laughs> Come on, say praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we have to get to the point in our relationship with the Lord that we just bust out. Amen. I believe too many beloved children of God are waiting for the feelings and then they get into worship. I'm going to tell you right now, sometimes those feelings won't come. Amen. You know why? Because feelings don't change who he is. <laughs> feelings... Nothing more than feelings. <laughs> I don't even know that song, but <laughs> right? Feelings ain't nothing but feelings. But you know what does change our father? Is when you show him faith. When you show him trust. This is why it's, the word of God says faith can move mountains. Amen. You ever see a mountain just go, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Say with me, Father, Father Son, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. So check this out. As you guys, as we heard earlier, in Hebrew, in Hebrew, there's translations. Okay, there's translations for everything. There's, say with me, translation. The reason why I get excited and I just jump at you guys is because some of you are looking at me. <laughs> so I'm just trying to explain you. In the Hebrew language, when there's a whole sentence, there's normally a name associated, and then you have that translation. Can you hear an amen? amen. So it would be ham days. Amen. I'm glad you said ham days, because this is Hananiah, Azariah, and Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, my bell. <laughs> Don't be hating. That's an oldie but goodie. Right? Hananiah means Jehovah has been gracious. Azariah means Jehovah has helped. Michel, my bell, means who is like God. Say with me, ham things. See, we are living right now in ham days. Amen. We are living right now in ham days. Amen. Oh, but as you know, the way Holy Spirit teaches, the way Holy Spirit preaches, so we mean welcome home. It just gets gooder and gooder. Amen. So check this out. Check this out. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael. We read in the book of Daniel chapter 3. Amen. And you guys remember what happened there. Can you get an amen? Amen. Well, these are the people that had a name change from Satan, and that was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. See, in, 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 in Babylonian culture back then, for those guys that were selected, and here in my heart, it wasn't even there. You, you know the hearts of these beloved sons of God, right? You know the hearts of these. Listen, God named them, and you saw their name, and their names reflected Father, Son, Holy Spirit. 
But you saw what the devil did. The devil said, no, we're going to call you Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That if you study those names, it gives glory to the moon god. It gives glory to the paganism. It gives glory to the devil. But you know what I love is that no matter what the devil, the devil or evil, whatever the situation or circumstance, no matter what happened in, in their lives, they are not Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Can they get amen? They know I am a beloved child of God. I am recovered through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. I am sealed by his Holy Spirit. His presence is in me. And his fire reigns inside of me. So I don't care, Satan, how hot you make it. Because the true fire, the fire of my baptism in the Holy Spirit reigns for eternity. And you must submit and you will die. You will die in the presence of my God. So as for me and my house, my children, my friends, my family, we serve you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we call upon your fire, Holy Spirit, your same fire that is roaring within us. We claim your fire, Holy Spirit, to rain down from heaven. And that, Father God, you will show yourself in these ham days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Good and good? Say with me, there's the force. Are y'all ready for this? Come on, let's all say it together. Gooder and gooder. Say with me, may the fourth be with you. So we talked about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hananiah, Azariah, Michelle. Man, brother, sweating through his clothes. You got two people, my bell, right? Are y'all ready to get your bell rung? Y'all ready to get your bell rung? We talked about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Say with me, may the fourth be with you. God has powered you to be the fourth in the fire. There's some of you, there's some of y'all that don't get it. There's some of y'all that don't get it. The Trinity lives inside of you. Amen? So guess what? You are the fourth. And now you go into every situation. It don't matter how hot it is. Amen? It don't matter how hot it is. And you go in there and you say, you know what? You don't belong here. You have a God who loves you. You have Christ Jesus that died for you. And by the power of his Holy Spirit, I want to love on you and pray for you. And you're going to feel his spirit resurrect you where you're at. Listen, my beloved, my beloved child, I, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter how you're living. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you think you're struggling with. All that matters is that you receive your true identity. In the Holy One that purchased it for you. Can I get an amen? And that's what we're called to do. Hallelujah. Say with you, God loves you. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? Because when you believe that, get ready. Because in faith, whoo, Holy Spirit not only overflows inside of you, but he orchestrates every step. He prepares the harvest of souls. Can I get an amen? amen. By, by the grace of Almighty God, listen. And I know he doesn't like when I do this, but I'm going to do it. Armor Bear blessed me with the most awesome news yesterday. There was two salvations at Isaiah House, Maine. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And, and thank you, beloved Daryl. Praise God. D-Money, the cleaner. He got a bunch of nicknames. Amen. We call him the cleaner, but I told him yesterday I referred to him as D-Money. And he just laughed. Amen. <laughs> but um, he was there, and so was Soldier. And um, y'all went out to um, Chaplain as well um, yesterday. And... Uh, I want to share this with you too. Friday evening, we had a salvation, praise God. And he's sitting right there. Hallelujah. Jeremiah, brother Jeremiah. Give everybody a wave, praise God. Hallelujah. Hey, and, 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 and please, please, family, like I said, don't don't leave yet. I, I know we got a lot going on in the community, but guess what? Father God will hold time. Amen. There's going to be plenty of funnel cakes. I'm not going to buy them all, all right? I'm not going to buy them all, okay? I'm over there exchanging clothing for funnel cakes. <laughs> What size shirt do you wear? Can I get three funnel cakes? I'm just kidding. We don't do that, okay? Golly. Um, as the praise and worship team gets ready, I'm going to ask you guys, do you not agree that we're living in ham days? Amen. Amen. That right now, right now, it's seven times hotter. Yes. Amen. Right? 
There's some that will argue and say maybe it's six. Listen, no, it's seven. <laughs> it's seven times harder. Amen. And God is relying on you, beloved, because of his presence within you. To love on every soul like you've never loved before. Do you not agree that that is the biggest battle? That we have to, we have to overcome judging others. Amen. We have to overcome enough, enough with, oh, they ain't living right. Listen, I wasn't when I called on the name of Lord Jesus. And guess what? It didn't matter. The Lord Jesus Christ said, right? That's how he helps us. Amen. And listen, when you have the help living inside of you, how can you help somebody? Let them know God loves you. Amen. God's not mad at you. God loves you. Amen. Listen, how many of you agree if somebody's doing something wrong, they already know it. So guess what? They don't need a reminder. Amen. If I'm doing something wrong, I don't need you to keep reminding me. Honestly, we ain't going to kick it. Amen. Because I know what I'm doing and I'm going to repent and get over it. Can you get an amen? But if, if, if you keep on showing me the love of Jesus, that every time around you, I'm around you, I could feel the presence of Holy Spirit. That every time around you, I don't want to be crunchy. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Amen. So I encourage you this morning, come to the altar. Praise God. And once again, we got something very special planned and a lot of announcements. I encourage you to stay afterwards. Amen. Praise God. Praise God.